Hello everybody. How are you all doing in these strange times? I uh, seem to be having a bit of a allergy <laughs> attack, so I sound a little nasal and a little congested. Sorry about that. I, uh, I'm doing okay. Work is difficult. I'm an essential employee, so I've had to go into work every day up until now. But fortunately, starting yesterday, we're going staggered two weeks on, two weeks off. So I work the next two weeks, and then I get to shelter in place for two weeks, and I'm really grateful for that. All I have to do is make it through the next two weeks. So, in order to occupy myself today, I'm going to try this video. This is a technique I learned from Beautifully Altered. Check out Beautifully Altered. I'm going to put the two links from her two videos that she did this technique. I've never seen it done before. I think it's beautiful. I think she is a beautiful person. She is so uh, enjoyable to listen to. She sounds pretty. She sounds spiritual. Um, I enjoy her videos. Please check them out. That's where I learned this from. So let me start from the beginning. I call her B because for years she used to be Beautiful Sky or B. Autofolsky, which made me laugh because I think it was maybe eight months before I realized that B. Autofolsky spelled Beautiful Sky. <laughs> I have to laugh at myself. She uses Quink ink. Now, her ink is black, and on her recommendation, I bought Quink ink from Parker, but I got the blue black. I don't know why. I just felt like I would try the blue black. Now, it's much more blue than black. So, in my Dilutions journal, I painted two, a two-page spread completely with the Quink ink. Now, I'm going to show you my Shark fountain pen. I love this pen. It's not my favorite, but I definitely like it. It's a, I don't know, $2.99 fountain pen. It's awesome. So, when you take off the little shark fin and shark face cap, you have a fountain pen. And here it has a, I'm going to show you how I fill it just to start the video. You don't have to buy a converter. You don't have to buy cartridges. It's just a fillable pen. So you take this and I'm going to screw my plunger all the way down. Now it's pushing out a little bit. I only had a little bit of ink in there. So I'm going to drop it down into the ink and I'm going to reverse the plunger and it filled my reservoir with the Quink ink. I really like the fact that this pen color just so perfectly matches that ink. So let me get a paper towel, wipe the excess off, put my lid on my ink. Actually, I shouldn't put the lid on quite yet. So let's see. I need a scrap paper. <laughs> I'll use this paper towel. I don't have a scrap paper. So now it's all filled up and I think this ink color matches the pen perfectly. And that just floats my boat. What can I say? So my pen is ready. So when I need to add darks back into this, I have a nice fine line method of using darks. This little plate um, has some white gesso on it. And I'm going to use a pipette and put some quink ink at this end. I'll rinse this out in my water jar. Okay, put my ink aside. So there's my palette and my journal. Let me make sure I am in the screen. Okay. So like I said, I used a wide brush and I brushed the ink on here and let it dry. And then just like B did, I used a white General's pastel chalk pencil. And I sketched out a very, very rough face of a girl with hair. I tried to draw the lights in and leave the darks. Uh, it's just a guideline. I'm going to go over it all with white gesso. And then 
I hope to. Let's see how things go. You never know how they go. This is a Golf Sprite stencil from when I was in her stencil, stencil club. <laughs> Sorry. And I just think this is a pretty delicate stencil that I might be able to use here. So let's see how it goes. Basically, I'm going to take some different small brushes, my shark pen to add in the darks, my gesso and my ink, and this Stabilo All Pencil. The 8041, which is a blue, is the exact same color as this Quink ink. So, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you check out B's um, YouTube channel. This is definitely 100% from her. I've never tried it before. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to speed it up, let you have some music. I hope you enjoy.
Okay, I am calling this finished and be beautifully, al beautifully altered. All I can say is, wow, I so loved that process. This page came together in like 15 to 20 minutes. There was no stress. There was no hard work. Look how gorgeous this came out. Thank you so much. I'm going to be doing more with this process. So, as you maybe noticed, this quink ink is water soluble. So anytime I went with a wet brush or some gesso and I watered down my gesso a lot, it reactivated the ink underneath. So it gave me all kinds of mid-tones and darks. And then of course I used the straight ink to go back and add darks. This didn't work as well, probably because it wasn't dry, but it added a few lines and scrapings. And uh, this only added a little bit as well. But how gorgeous is that with the stencil? That is just, B, thank you so much. I, um, I know you'll be watching this. And please go check out B's videos. Uh, they are beautiful and well worth watching. And look at this gorgeous page. I'm just so happy. I hope you guys enjoy this. And I hope you get a little distraction from the stresses of the world. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day. Please like and share if you enjoy this.